What is up guys, it is Dylan Lepore here, back to you with another video, and E3's EA Play press conference just went by, and it was what we expected, but they showed us what we wanted, and it turned out awesome, it turned out amazing, uh, they really listened to us this time, and uh, the customers, and the consumers, and uh, they did a good show. Uh, most of their show was uh, Battlefront 2, but uh, that is uh, okay and uh, pretty uh, fine by me. I mean, who doesn't like Battlefront 2? But let's uh, get right into uh, the juices of this uh, recap of uh, EA's E3 2017 press conference. All right, so they showed off a lot of Battlefront uh, 2. They showed off uh, a tease for Anthem uh, is a weird, weird game. Uh, Anthem is a new IP from Bioware created in partnership with Microsoft. It looks to be a Destiny-like game and a shared world shooter experience. Bioware stated in a tweet that it will be four-player co-op it looks beautiful running at their frostbite engine other than the engine and a brief look at a brief look at the action of it uh that is uh, all we know for right now uh their bigger reveal will be tomorrow's at tomorrow's xbox press conference so uh they're obviously in a uh partnership or a deal with uh xbox like uh, destiny is in a deal with uh playstation but yeah anthem i have i've that's all i know about anthem and i have really no clue about this game at all besides uh the facts i just uh presented to you but yeah anthem looks really cool and it kind of reminds me of also titanfall too because it's like a you're getting into a mech but it's a smaller mech suit thing it's interesting but yeah uh it's cool i like it and i'm intrigued but i still am worried and i of course i have doubts and i do not want it but since bioware is behind it and they know how to do story that's what's giving me a, a more brighter perspective on uh, anthem and uh, what bioware can do especially uh, with their frostbite engine and uh, since they've been doing tons of games with <laughs> with story and they've been doing it well but next up we got need for speed payback this game reminded me a lot of fast and the furious for some reason when i saw the uh gameplay uh footage that they showed on the press conference it reminded me a lot of fast and the furious uh you're riding you're chasing cars you're hopping on a truck you're stealing cars uh you're run you're driving a car out of a truck a truck that's blowing up or lighting up on fire i, I really didn't know what was up with that truck but it was insane intense action and uh payback is fast has a lot more customization they said than previous games and it's set outside of los angeles i hope that they don't focus too much on online personally but from the looks of it ea is giving us the story we want even if it might be corny uh, so ea is listening and it's good to see that uh, i am excited for another uh need for speed game uh the last two weren't that great especially rivals and then i didn't really like the new most wanted game but if they go back to the original the playstation 2 most wanted which is one of which is need for speeds like the, the best need for speed game uh if they go back to that that would be amazing and i hope uh they do but now let's go to a little indie developer uh called haze light which created uh brothers a tale of two sons their game is called a way out uh a way out showcases cinematic split screen action slash adventure gameplay where you and a friend take on the role of two brothers so far we know you have to break out of prison but judging by the trailer it's more than that that's a deeper story here and i'm pretty excited to play it big plus it has both online and local co-op but 
you can only play the game is only in split screen so you must be playing with the person to play it luckily they have online uh but that is a worried uh for me uh for people who aren't accessible to uh uh local and nobody wants to play with them i guess i'm sorry uh and they don't have online uh but i hope they know that going into the game and I, that that might uh affect them and that's just a f argument i thought of uh but i think it's a a good one for some people uh but yeah the game uh looks amazing and i love it uh, you choose how you play, and not everyone will have the same experience. At least, that's what I'm concluding from what I've seen and heard. The game will always be in split screen, however, and you must play it with a friend. I don't know how that's going to fare for a lot of people, like I said before, but I imagine most gamers will have to team up with random partners uh, most of the time. Still, it's a good to see EA giving people something new and focusing on story. That's what uh, a big part of this uh, E3 press conference is. So half of it is basically story, and the other half is Battlefront 2, uh, story plus uh, PvP. Uh, but now... We get into some uh, Battlefront 2, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 news. Uh, now, uh, Battlefront 2, the sequel to the multiplayer online first installment of the rebooted series is here and it looks amazing. The graphics alone are stunning, realistic, and really show off some power. Like, the graphics in it... <laughs> Like if you played the ra if you played the last game, you uh, know exactly what I'm talking about. The graphics in the last game are stellar, and it's basically showing you the remastered version if they remastered it uh, today. <clears throat> the movies, uh, if they remastered the movies today, uh, that is what uh, they should look like. But yeah, it looks really good, and I'm uh, really excited about it. But let's get into some uh, further news. With all three Star Wars eras put into one game, this will be the biggest Star Wars Battlefront title yet. EA says that it will, ha will have over three times the amount of content than was in the last Battlefront. Even better, it will feature completely free seasonal DLC for years to come. In fact, uh, this winter, you'll be getting... Finn and Captain Phasma for free as playable characters. Uh, and uh, with more planets, ships, guns, and characters, Battlefront 2 feels radically different from the first game. I'd say it'd be fair to basically treat this as another reboot. Everything has been overhauled and organized properly. Plus, the new campaign where you fight in the dark side as an Imperial trooper seems awesome. Finally, gamers will get to feel what is like to be with the empire and see that the rebels aren't all that they're cracked up to be which is very intriguing to me uh, especially if you've seen rogue one so basically uh it's like rogue one uh the story in battlefront 2 which is kind of cool uh because it shows uh the two different sides and it's just a story with those characters and i feel like the star wars is going to play off keep playing off rogue one because uh i guess they can just kill everybody at then because uh what is a uh, galactic warfare without uh, anybody dying <laughs> but EA went all in with Battlefront 2 and it shows the battleground it's sparse but it's not too much either there are troopers and droids all over the place with gunfire ships crashing everywhere it looks to be the right amount of stuff to keep you engaged but not overwhelmed which is uh, a nice twist because there's lots of explosions and lots of crashing and lots of everything but some of that some like some i feel like in battlefield uh it can get overwhelming uh especially with the uh, advanced call of duties uh they're definitely uh i feel like it's too much for me and that's why i, I like uh keep playing on destiny uh, because destiny is more uh, compact for me that's what i feel like but i digress again this is just a taste of what's to come for e3 and ea kicked it off pretty well they listened to their players and provided the single player content people wanted and they also seem to have dropped the season passes that we all kind of hated. Uh, that's also a plus. Thank you EA for doing that. I actually never bought the, the season passes because I I hate 
his season passes. But let me know in the comments below your thoughts about Battlefront 2 and how you feel about A Way Out, which is a game I'm actually pretty excited for, and so was the guy uh, that <laughs> presented it to us. Uh, but yeah, uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you do find this video informal, uh, please leave a like and uh, tell me, yeah, tell me what you think in that uh, comments below. And yeah, so this is Dylan signing off. Bye.